I'm sipping, sipping, sipping in slippers. I'm feeling, I'm feeling so fine. There's nothing, no oh, nothing, no. Oh, there's nothing better than drinking a fine glass of wine. So put on your slippers and pour me some wine. Red wine or rose, they will have a good time. And maybe a Chianti or an nice Chardonnay. How about a Merlot, a Chicky Bonnier, Italian or French, a Rioja from Spain? Six bottles later, and it all tastes the same. And it might taste turkey, and it can taste cherry, and it can sometimes taste like a strawberry. So, cap Frank and Capsule in a long taxi home. Wrong turn at Tuscany and ended up at Rome. So, take up your slippers and put down the glass. Just drink from the bottle, cause you're drunk off your butt. Sipping, sipping. And suppers, I'm feeling, I'm feeling so fine. There's nothing, ain't nothing, no, oh, there's nothing better than drinking a fine glass of wine. Okay, so this is the continuation of the on the road in part two. Yeah, in Woo. in the Okanagan in Summerlin and Kelowna. Are these the same flavor or two different flavors? Two different yeah, flavors. Definitely. So I went on the road with uh, an old friend of mine, and when I say old, yes, we are both old because I'm original Sip, and so obviously everything I do is old. Uh, I went on the road with Sipster and uh, Gewurz of Wiener Wiener, and we spent a couple of days visiting some fantastic wineries in Summerland and Kelowna, and again, just trying to give you a sense of some of the unique wine and some of the products that they create here in, uh, in BC. And one of the first wineries that we're going to talk about here is The View, and if you're a girl, you'd love this winery because their logo is a red shoe. It's a really cute, very funky kind of winery. And they have a product that I don't know if anybody else has. It's, a, as the winemaker called it, it's wine in a tin. <laughs> it's a little British. So it's called Bling, and it's uh, a, the wine, it's like a sparkling wine. It's a wine spritzer. Wine spritzer. In a can. And well, he said a tin. <laughs> It would be like if you had a cooler or a cider in the can. It's basically a wine spritzer in one. What happened was they had a couple bad batches of grapes those uh, few years where the weather was bad that they didn't think would be good enough to actually make a wine out of. So they instead used them um, to make wine spritzers and they're actually gone off the charts with sales yeah. because that's how good they are. Yeah, girls love it. And the, the marketing and the branding and the label, it's On very the cute. wine. Yeah, it is. It's and it's Bring like, it to the beach. Yeah. Bling. Bling. And the name is so cute. <laughs> the name is so cute too. Bling. Like what girl doesn't like a little bling? As I'm sneaky sip, I love these because you can sneaky bring them anywhere. <laughs> and uh, over sip, we know that pretty well almost anything on the menu that is alcohol, you do like. I do. And uh, <laughs> I mean, to be fair, these are these are really, really good. Yeah. And you can like this you're thing. I'm, you're gonna feel really not manly holding one of these things because it's literally with like a pink dress woman on the front of it <laughs> saying bling. So I mean, this seems like something you get like from a women's clothing store, but they are it's good. It's delicious. It so. is good. So this is this the, is an at-home man drink. This is the white bling that we're tasting, and they have a white and a pink. Mm -hmm. uh, and mm. this is the white one. And yeah, that's good. you're gonna hear from the winemaker. He gave us a private viewing in the back um, and gave us a very detailed explanation of the background of bling, how they make it, and again, sort of what Sneaky Sip said of how the sales have just skyrocketed. So the View Winery in Kelowna, and we're going to be tasting bling, which is every young girl's favorite right now. It's definitely the drink to have. So can you tell us a little bit about it? It's definitely one of the most popular races on the list this season. It's a sparkling wine, and it's made, which even by my own admission, it doesn't sound to really fabulous. But it is. It's still delightful. That's what makes it fabulous, it actually, makes is reason, it makes it so unique. It's yeah. a reason to hurt Aaron Pilsic and sparkling water. And Perfect. that is the case. Four ingredients. Uh, we released it two years ago, only selling out of the winery. It's more than two and a half months. Oh, I believe it, yeah. This year, wow. demand for it has been so stupendously high. We've had to increase our production slightly over April. Yeah. We've been 20%. Yeah. We Cheers. 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 
Want to want to smell this compared to meter? Mm. Yummy. That is so good. This, as they would say, absolutely fabulous. Uh, you say it's a two slippers up? Two slippers up. Two slippers up. That's four slippers up. Yay! High <laughs> four. This is pink bling. Which as is. opposed to so it's so it's has a tiny bit more air infelser to it and a little bit of a red variety pinot tonge blended in with it just to give it a nice pink characteristic of rosé. Oh, you. that is a beautiful yeah, pink. So Look at that. Because Pretty. of those two oh. a tiny bit sweeter and it tastes like strawberry. Sipster. Mm -hmm. Oh my oh. goodness, that it's like candy, it is candy in glass. That it is, is fantastic. Oh. Wow. They were even taken aback by, by it. Yeah, like people, they can't keep up with the demand for this. And I already see over sips already poured himself a second glass. So it's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. <laughs> if you like cider or you like coolers and you like yeah, exactly. the easiness like of them, these are much lighter. And yeah, they don't yeah, make yeah, it yeah, as fat. I as personally <laughs> love cider. Like that's what I, yeah. So this will be my slimming winter drinker. Yeah. This is Sl slimming, slimming cider. Slimming summer, slimming all the time. Yeah, because who wants to have fat ankles in their yeah. slippers? I know, right? <laughs> I'm a little blue. I am always today. worried about that. <laughs> This I do sweet. sometimes get the cider ankles. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, bloop. <laughs> so, yeah, you're already in glass number two. Yeah, it's good. It's Done good. glass number two. Now we need to try bling number two, the rosé bling. Here, I'm going to give this yeah, to Oversip. It's that the in remainder, because, again, he overpours as well as oversips. I don't believe in that. I think we should name him the overguzzle. <laughs> <laughs> Just overdo. <laughs> so this is the pink bling, and it's very pink. And it's a very, very pink. It's very pink. It's bright pink. It's really cute. It's very girly. If you like rosé and you Yeah, like, I gotta say, the last one was pretty really, girly. This one is extremely If you're not girly. really a cider drinker, this is a little more fruity, a little more floral. This would go and down sweeter. easier for you. Mm -hmm. it's, and you can taste the strawberries, it is candy. the berries, and it, this. That's what I thought. I thought this was the best thing I'd ever tasted. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, this is kind of like <laughs> drinking those Swedish berries. <laughs> That's what this is. This is liquid Swedish berries. If you're going to bubble them up and then ferment them yeah. with alcohol, this is what this they is taste like. This is alcoholic Swedish berries. <laughs> I know. Dear God. Yeah. So I would say for the average girl that loves her wine, loves her candies, this is fantastic. Yeah, I mean, or again, if you want to just have these hidden at home, at home. this is an at-home man drink. It's <laughs> fine. <laughs> Hide that shit. I think I could binge drink this. Like I said, this is this is my equivalent of like, man, I should go get some Swedish berries, but then I just end up with these, and I get the best of both worlds. So I can I can tell from our reaction that we we like both the white Two and things. and the pink. So what does anybody have a preference over the white or oh, the pink? pink? For sure, pink all the way. Pink. It's. I gotta say, it's pink is clearly the winner. Yes, but it's two feet for these things. For both. Yeah, for both. So of we them. have this a is, six footer. This is bling. Bling wins it. And I that's just noticed stuff. over over sip kept his socks. <laughs> yeah, well, well, that's kind of a. It's a little cold. Today. It's a I don't know. I was comfy in them. Also, I, I'm kind of yeah, worried that my feet stink out of these socks. Have. So I want to keep that contained. Because it's really not going to help our wine drinking when you guys are smelling my feet. Yeah, that would be mixed like... Mixed with the yeah, wine. Overpowering. Oversips feet! A of Oversips feet? Yeah, Oversips feet. <laughs> so big cheers to that one. Yeah. Oh, yeah you're done as well, yeah. Too bad. You already drank it. Sneakily snake. Sneakily snuggle. Sneakily snuggle. Sneakily snuggle. away. <laughs> you snuggled a snaggle of a sneaky It's like sip. a drunken uh, Dr. Seuss. <laughs> it doesn't really rhyme, it just snuggles, snuggles, turns into eventual gibberish. <laughs> So again, we're going to continue with the View Winery. And silver we, lining red. We tried, we tried almost everything they had on the menu. We tried the silver lining white, and and uh, Sipster loved that. And I tried the silver lining red. This is, this is their estate blend. And uh, it is again so affordable and so good for the price. And we also tried their Pinotage Reserve. Um, and again, um, Sneaky Sip and I have already drank both of those bottles, so we can't do a on live. Uh, review here, but we did it on location. And I would say based on how we drank those, we did like those. Again, we're here at the View Winery in Kelowna, and this is Original Sip, and I'm, you know, the wine, uh, red wine connoisseur. So, what am I trying here today? This is our silver lining state, right? It's a It sounds very fancy. <laughs> 
silver lining, Red. <laughs> uh, Merlot based blend, Merlot, Pinot, Tomage, and Blanc Noir. Very soft, gentle, smooth, and silky texture to it. Uh, in terms of tasting, it's like a handful of very light red berries. It just glows. Sounds very sensual. <laughs> Dark cherry, blackberry, mm. really red plum, tiny bit of bacon spice at the end. That is lovely on the nose. There's a lot of fruit. Beautiful color too. Mm. Very dark. Oh, red. very nice. There is a lot of flavor there. A lot. And it, like you said, it's very soft. Mm -hmm. It doesn't bite you. Yeah. There's no like after taste. Mm -hmm. You could chill this down a few degrees. Interesting, I, yeah. I, 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 three or four. Yeah. Sometimes you're not going to carry this so bad, just because it is so light. Mm. You can serve that little bit of food. It is. It's a very light red, but it, what's good about it is there's still a lot of flavor. What was that one again? This is the silver, silver lining. Silver, yeah. silver, silver lining. lining, estate red. And um, if I had four feet of my own, I'd give it a four feet up because I like it that much. So come on, Gilbert Samir, come on, help me out here. Come on, come on, come on, push your feet up. There you go. <laughs> I'd love to know the price. Yes, yes. 1550. 1550. Well, um, I'll be going home with a lot of these in uh, in my pocket. Yeah. <laughs> in my purse. There you go. Glass of the silver lining white. White. Yeah. Well, if it's good enough for me in red, it's good enough for you in white, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's got the feet dancing already. It does have it's got flavor. the feet moving. There's something there. There's something there. And Let it's those... not chemically at all. Uh, those feet are going. Whoa. <laughs> you could drink a lot of this. <laughs> You could drink tasty. a lot of that. I could drink a lot of this. <laughs> it's, yeah, yeah, somebody's got to do it. That's a choosy for sure. There you go. Two yeah. feet up. Wow. Anyone that says that it's an estate red or an estate white or an estate blend, that's again, that means that the grapes were grown on the actual property. They're all, that winery is grapes. So there's no other blends from different areas. They didn't grow grapes from different wineries. This is all their own grapes and it's all their own blend. It's a juicy red blend with aromas and flavors of ripe plums, dark berry fruit and spice. And again, um, I have to give like two feet up to the winery, to the people that work there. They have a really great little outdoor seating area where we had a picnic and we sat there. Let me guess, you could bring a dog there. You could bring a dog oh, there. Very welcome. Um, we had a little outdoor picnic. Um, the service was fantastic. They, We were very fortunate that there wasn't a lot of people there, so they spent a lot of time with us explaining what each of the wines were. Um, I felt very, very privileged and very special just being there. So this, again, for this is under $20. Mm. This is a very nice red wine for under very $20. Nice wine. Yeah. So what are your thoughts? Original sip? <coughs> Apparently not very good. Kelder. Um, I'm going to get tart. I'm going to give it one and a half. So one, one and a half feet up. Um, because we have a fantastic red that's coming behind us that mm. likes 20 feet up. So I'm going to give it one and a half. It's definitely a great wine for the price. Uh, like For what you're going to spend, you're going to be very, very happy with it. Yeah, I like it. I'm going to give it one foot for sure. Uh, one foot and one sock? Yeah, a foot and a sock. Foot and a sock. <laughs> a sock. You know, foot. Yes. Yeah. It is a foot and a sock. That sounds like a Dr. Seuss thing too. So you just keep going with that. Uh, it's really, it, you know what, it's a really like, it's nice, it's light. Um, you do get a lot of that plum and, uh, and spice and everything. But um, yeah, I'd say it's a little a little short. It's it's not, you know, it's not super full body. It's not anything. a two feet. It's a, it's no, a it's a one foot. You got to yeah. save those two feet for some yeah. like, they're pink juice that they made. The, the liquid <laughs> Swedish berries, now that's two feet up. But. Yeah. So what do you think, Oversip? You're the real I'm expert. Sippy sip. the, uh, I'm sorry. Now you're already <laughs> sipping so much you can't even remember our names. Overpour strikes again. <laughs> Who foot. are you? It's a little blurry to me. <laughs> I'm only giving this half a foot because I am not a fan of plum or this vintage. I think it's a very early years, early harvest. I don't think this one is quite ready yet. Oh. I think maybe if it sat in the hard. cellar for another year, it might have been a little better. It might be a little more full bodied and is not as tart on the first taste. But I think it has potential, and I do love the view. I think their wines, their pinotage especially, is fantastic. But we I drank love the that. flings. <laughs> but this one, I'm only giving a half foot. I feel like this one is definitely not their best. And so so you, got a, you got a half a foot, a, a one and a half, and a, one and a, and a one. one. That's a three. That's a three. <laughs> That's a three. <laughs> That's a three and a half, then. If no. One no. and a half, one and a half. Oh, and God. Half. I said it's one, one and a half, and a half. Yeah, oh, it's a three. Dear God, it's a three. <laughs>
our math is not good for the opinion hey. that we only need to count feet. No one said we're mathematicians thank, here. So thank goodness so we're not using so any sort of finger-based system, so let's but we'd do, be in trouble. let's do it all together. One and a half? One and a half. And a half. You just, you just kind of like half tilt it. Mm. There you go. There you go. There's you got to do like a, a very thing. high foot versus like a... Mm. There, I just yeah. shake it. So continuing on with this review, I'm going to go to, I think, which was the best of the wine tour in the Okanagan. And why I think it was the best, because um, we, A, we were fortunate enough to even get into this winery. It's normally by appointment only. And we just showed up when they were putting some cases away and they actually offered us wine for work, but we weren't quite up to that that day. And this winery is actually thwines.com and you can only get this wine either at the winery, online, or at a very, very, very few select restaurants. And this winemaker is a winemaker. He doesn't just make wine. It's very hands-on. He's very much involved and he's very, he's very, very, intimate about it. I heard he's a hottie. He is a hottie. Yeah. <laughs> the TH actually st stands for Tyler Harleton. And, Tyler um, Hottie. Tyler, Tyler Hottie Harleton. <laughs> Holy jeez. <laughs> totally hotness. Yeah. And he actually is originally from a farming background in Saskatchewan. And he moved up apparently to the Okanagan um, to pursue yeah, a legal poor. career. I swear to God, that guy wears chaps and wears a cowboy hat. No, nope. like, I'm I'm Tony Hutton. No, no. But I bet he likes to get his hands dirty. Wine sales are through the roof. <laughs> no, people come for that swarthy uh, winemaking uh, cowboy. <laughs> no, he is a Saskatchewan farmer from from As I said, from his upbringing, but he did swarthy he, farming he, cowboy but, um, who makes wine. But now he he went like I said he went up there to pursue a, a the legal hands. career, and he decided that this was his destiny and set up this winery. And I really can't say enough good things about their wine. I would have picked making wine over going to school for eight years. Anyway. I would have picked making wine over being in Saskatchewan. So we got to try their, their whites and their reds, um, and um, I've saved actually a white for Oversip to take home that is a Vonier that is yes. fantastic. Yep. For the win. And today we're going to try their um, Pab Merlot, the 2012 vintage. It tastes delicious. Very spicy. When you hear him talk on about it yeah, on location, you're going to find that what he said that was really interesting is depending on when you open this and sort of what you're around, you're going to taste and smell very different things. The first thing that I actually smelled and tasted when I was on location was caramel. And I said, is, this, is there a caramel here? And he said, again, it, this wine varies and it's, it gives you a different experience every time you open it. And I was just so excited that I got to find this winery and got to find this wine because as a red wine drinker, it was fantastic. Okay, so this is... This is 2012 Cabernet Merlot. Uh, it's a smaller lot again. Of the 12 barrels, it's 8 barrels of Cabernet Franc, 2 barrels of Merlot, 2 barrels of Malbec. Uh, for natural winemaking, there's nothing added or adjusted here. Using a minimum amount of newer French oak, so it's mostly older, older barrels. Um, and this is a nice representation of the 2012 vintage right here. Nice. Try that and see how it tastes. The first things that come to my palate are earthy and spiced. Got a good there's finish. some floral nice. and fruit notes as well. Dark cherry again. Anything with a Merlot, you always taste a dark cherry usually. And then the oaky, earthy taste. And then a little bit of spice, usually black pepper is another one that's always a good one to name when you're drinking a Merlot, especially and, with a Cabernet as well. Too. And what's interesting is, as I said, on location there, the first thing I smelled and tasted was caramel. The and color is very caramel. And today, like it, the first can... thing I smell is actually the floral part of it. I, it is very <laughs> floral on the nose. Mm -hmm. And that's what I smelled today, but I had a completely, good completely different experience there up in the Okanagan. So that really is, I think, a signature of a great wine that is complex. It's um, different based on every experience and, and where you know when you open it and so I think that's fantastic and again I say kudos to this winemaker and, and how much care he puts into it and his wine is a reflection of that. It's a very smooth Cabernet Merlot as well some of them it get their ridiculous. early years well and all of their so wine, totally hotness. All the mm -hmm. wines were fantastic there 
Um, and again, it's very exclusive. Um, so if you want to go and find out more about them, you go to thwines.com. Like the, uh, and I'm like losing images of them like like rough hands, hands on a barrel. It's hands on everything yeah. they say. It's a very it's a very intimate winemaking um, uh, approach that they have. They don't just make mass produced wine. Yeah. They're very involved in their winemaking process. It's good though, real good. And again, it's a little more expensive. This is in the thirty five range. It's not. It's it tastes not, like that. Though. It's it not a twenty dollar like, bottle of wine, like but still, worthwhile. that is so affordable when you want mm. a great wine and you want to have company over for dinner. And mm. and it, this is a wine that you can talk about over dinner. You can actually have a conversation about this wine. So <laughs> so there. basically, in this review, we've gone from very girly with a can of wine. We don't even know why original sip is here, frankly, because this was all about totally hotness. And <laughs> Wine spritzers. <laughs> <laughs> so, but we went from very girly with a girl in a pink dress and to red a man's shoe. Man's to, so yeah, so <laughs> that shows you the the wine world, the goes. depth that we're gonna go to, from hot men or to cute coolers or how low we go. <laughs> <laughs> That's just the depth. How low we go. <laughs> mm. Uh, girly, manly, girly, manly, girly, manly. We're so complex. We're so sophisticated. Mm. Isn't that a fantastic wine, though? Mm. That's real good. Okay. Yeah, you have one to take home there, sneaky sip. He, did he allow the first demeanor in? Yes, he he's did. a winner. Yes, oh, dog there friendly. There you go again, winner. dogs. Dog friendly. Yes. Who yeah. doesn't appreciate a man that can work with his hands? <laughs> My slipper. Oh no. <laughs> that got me so excited. I dropped the slipper. <laughs> slipper fail. Whoa. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Slipper failure. What? Look at that. That was pretty sophisticated and elegant. Yeah. Slip yeah, that sure. back on like no one even noticed that. Slip <laughs> it back on like a slipper. <laughs> Well, I think that might conclude the second round of this. I yeah. don't know about you guys, but I think I'm good. I'm ready to go to sleep under the bar. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm taking this bottle with me. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Oh, this is original sip over and out? Oh, this is over sip over and out. And we're on. I'm on my way to Summerland to go meet Totally Hotness. See you later, girls. <laughs> <laughs> so, let's close with our closing song.